Good morning, everybody. I've got a success story for you, and it's from Toby. So Toby says this, I'd like to start this off by stating some things. I'd like to thank everyone who has been with me on this journey. And also, if I myself were reading this success story from a few months back, I would be pissed at myself. Pardon my language, but also proud. This is for the reason being that I actually started on this SP journey to manifest an ex back like most people, but I did get an SP and I will explain why. My journey started off with wanting an ex back. We were together in my high school years and I moved for college. I manifested the breakup just as I manifested us being together in the first place in the past. I was consumed with depression in my new environment and university and I hated it. I started overthinking that she would leave me for someone else. A few months later, I saw her with her new partner and it broke me. I wanted her back so badly. I desperately started to apply Agnes's stuff, Neville's stuff, etc., but it wasn't working. I was able to manifest coffee and other things, but the SP wasn't working. I even manifested other great things such as an internship opportunity to travel to the place where my ex and I used to live. Eventually, I reflected to myself after seeing many pictures of her with her new partner. I looked deep within and knew that I was trying with all my might to want to manifest her back. I wanted to prove that the law would work to myself so badly that I wanted her and only her. At the end of the day, however, I realized that there was a significant part of me that thought, hey, I'm still young. Maybe someone will be a better fit for me. This was one of my resistances that I knew was blocking me from fully wanting her back. At this point, I was slightly disappointed with wanting to give up on my ex journey. I felt that I invested a lot into it and would be a failure if I gave up and tried to go for another person. But I was at a point in my life where I was going to the gym again, looking good, enjoying life, catching up with friends and family, and I suddenly felt very free and focused on being happy and living in the moment. I love myself so much. I started to appreciate everything I had and I let go of the need for my ex. I was happy within myself. One evening, I laid on my bed and imagined a girl similar to my ex in the ways that I loved her, but different in better ways. Though I knew that I could manifest my ex to be that way, I knew that I had too much resistance within me and kind of couldn't be bothered to deal with that. I imagined being with a new girl and being in a loving relationship with a new girl. I knew that was set. I downloaded dating apps on my phone and I began swiping. <laughs> I gave up after a while on the dating apps but deleted all except one app. I continued enjoying life and I started feeling like I wasn't desperate to have my ex back anymore. That's when it happened. I met someone new who texted me on that app despite me not opening it for ages. It was a very innocent conversation. We met up for the first time and I knew that this was the girl I had imagined. I thought to myself, this is the girl I'm going to be with. This was the one who will love me so much I'll be shocked by it. I know that I could have thought otherwise and that would manifest instead, but eventually I chose this girl as a specific person. It was no longer general, but specific, specific. All my thoughts about this girl came true. For the next few dates, hangouts, I always remained in my assumption that she liked me and had feelings for me. I wasn't desperate to be with her anymore, but I was very certain that I would be with her. I was completely okay because I love myself and was fine within myself. Funny thing is, my ex texted me and unblocked me. She also started to watch my Snapchat stories very quickly and I remember how I used to check desperately to see if she had checked my posts. But now I didn't even care. I know I could get her back, but after meeting this new girl, I guess my mind became set on a different specific person. Slowly but surely, my relationship with my SP now my girlfriend progressed. She took the lead in confessing to me and asking me out. All I did was stay true to my assumption and live in the moment to enjoy my life. It all happened just as I imagined it to be. All I know is if you want your ex or specific person, you can totally do it. I did it and so many people have done it and so can you. Thank you, Toby. That's lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. 
Thank you for sending that in. Now, just want to let you all know that there is a brand new meditation that I uploaded on the meditation channel this morning. And it is to help you with what Toby is talking about. Self-love, first best. And you can use the whispering technique. It's a three-phase meditation. I will put the link to the meditation down below and the link to the meditation channel is down below. And Toby, thank you for really sharing the importance of self-love. Again, self-love trumps all. <laughs> and then imagination creates reality. The combination of those is a wonderful, wonderful thing. So lots of love to you. And I will see you, as always, in the next YouTube.